e bo ma na gente aye kene ko na ozo no bo sin kata kwa nko echi all right once again good morning good afternoon good night it depends your time and your location you are joining us today at eastern news 24 ask kwa me ka chukwu ka bia ma puru niye ni ne gozi omo bia fra ise 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 all right e di ko si de ka gba pun yo so ego si unify we ni lu akupo no bo sin kata ta ya ma ni ne ma all right um oh well uh oh cool ma zina the canon kubu before but our leader only in do oh no kubu before before yeah but no no bolo i from your book the same but i made here for us i come with china kiki kwe yozo now the guy a chief girl and he gets a beef bambo ni gets the voice ma zina the canon he gets a beef kabaru drop your own comment on the commission below open i find a man at this channel the game ma does try to keep drop all your comment on the commission below mazin nan de kanu owe li fo kudu hey onye ndu onye ndi ya di ke echi echi ada agu agu onye ndi ga di ke echi echi ya agu agu onye ndi obo na chine ke e yuzu loge gine kaya wabu omu ibo ga ako kifa ya ako ndi ne wezi odi lanya about freedom of biafra chine ke we wote di mosis we will tell the Abraham. We will tell the Joshua. Can't go see Abraham. Oh, of course, he didn't know because he could go. We never go anywhere. All right, I'm going to get in there. Get in your audio clip. Get in here. Let me get here. Drop all your comments on the commission below. All right, over to you. Over to you, sir. I'm going to be free. The zoo called Nigeria was created by a white man, not an African. Named by a white woman, not a black African woman. It has no right to exist. And anybody that kills in the name of Nigeria will be held responsible by us. Because it seems that the ICC doesn't want to do anything. It seems that all the courts of the world are silent as innocent people, men, women, and children are being slaughtered on a daily basis in Nigeria. We can't allow that to continue. Not now not tomorrow, not ever. This very Eastern Security Network is not, and I repeat, is not the army of Biafra. When the time comes for us to raise the army of Biafra, we shall announce it to the whole world. It is merely a vigilante group, the same way you have Amotekun and Miyeti Allah's national vigilante in Nigeria, that is why we must all be very, very measured in how we approach the issues that confront us at this very critical time of our history. We must remain resolute and determined. All those in the pay of Janjaweed, they will come to try to discourage you from supporting this very wonderful initiative that none of your governors were able to do. As some of you will see in the video that will be posted or published after this very broadcast, you will see that we are united all the way from Kogi down to the Atlantic Ocean. We are one, one family and indivisible. We are not going to allow ourselves to become distracted by paid agents of the damnable Zoological Republic. Self-defense is a constitutional right. Self-determination is not a crime, but a right under the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and customary international law. Therefore, I make no apologies for pursuing Biafra relentlessly and determinedly. It can never stop. Those who underestimate our resolve do so at their own peril. As I've said before, we are not alive, we are dead already. When you see men, you will understand how determined we are. But there is one thing we have resolved to do. From today onwards, the death of every Biafran will be avenged. If you kill a Biafran, you will be killed. No matter who you are, we'll keep pursuing you until you die. 
you have no peace and you have no rest. I'm saying it on video that the whole world may understand. In 1966, the world kept quiet as Biafrans were slaughtered in their numbers, 300,000 in the north. 67 to 70, over 3.5 million people were killed. Nobody stood trial for it. Rwanda lost less than 100,000 people. ICC and international courts were convened to try those who were responsible, or should I say, those who were culpable. The same thing in Liberia. But because you killed us between 66 and 1970 and nothing happened, and from 1945 to 1966 and nothing happened, that was the reason, or should I say, that is the reason why the Fulanese will keep coming to kill us on a daily basis. Right now, from this day onwards, if you kill us, we are going to kill you. The men are ready. They have come to defend Biafra land, not to separate from Nigeria, no. We are going to accomplish that via a referendum. But if you come to our villages now to rape our mothers or abduct our sisters, you will die in the process. Any governor found aiding any of these people or giving our land to Fulani Janjaweed will be in trouble with us. Let me make one thing abundantly clear to all of you listening. We have resolved to die for what we believe in. And our belief is simple. Very, very simple. That we are going to defend the land of Biafra with all our might. Not in pursuit of secession, as the idiots would say, but in pursuit of the defense of our land so that our mothers can go to the farm without the risk of being raped and torn to pieces. Some of you saw what happened at Uli. How a very beautiful, young Biafran lady went to the farm and never came back. She was not only raped, her body was mutilated, cut into pieces and strewn all across her farmland. None of you did anything. An embraced governor did nothing. Instead, he went along to appoint the same people that committed such heinous crime against the land itself into his cabinet. These are the idiots we are having to contend with in the land of Biafra. And we are saying enough is enough. If you are part of this very conspiracy to emasculate the children of God, to destroy Biafra land, then you are grossly mistaken. I know that the Fulani Janjawi, they are not highly educated, they are not polished, they are not discerning. They cannot reason very well. Let me make this very, very clear. The Eastern Security Network is what it is. An organized vigilante outfit, rather than restricting the activities of the defense of our land to maybe Enugu State or Delta State or even Bayasa State, for instance. We have resolved to defend the entirety of Biafran territory. Allow me to repeat because some of you are not educated enough to understand what we are saying. I am addressing this to the Fulani Janjaweed. Allow me to repeat. The Eastern Security Network is there to safeguard our land. To stop Fulani terrorists from Mali, from Gambia, from coming into our land to kill us. Our mothers must return to their farms and our daughters must be able to move about very, very freely. The only way out of the mess people are in in Nigeria is that people should stop talking and doing the work necessary to free everybody from this Fulani inspired bondage. Today, people died or should I say a lawmaker was killed in Yoruba land. This same day today, in Benue State, four people were killed. Even in Katsina, young boys were abducted and girls, as a matter of fact, from the dormitories. That is the level of insecurity in Nigeria. People are dying on a daily basis. Are you going to sit down, just lament, talk about it and nothing happens? Or are you going to join us to ensure that this reign of Fulani terrorism and insecurity is brought to an end. That is what we are for. 
That is why this very security outfit has been set up. And that is the work they are going to do. And nobody, and I repeat, nobody is going to stop us. Extrajudicial killings will no longer be tolerated. Any police commissioner, any commander of whatever army unit you are, you bring out your men to come and kill innocent people, you and your family will also die. Because that is the only language you idiots understand. When people keep where to kill them, you have stifled peaceful protests, you have killed people, you have lied about it, and you think you will go on killing innocent people. It can no longer happen, not in Biafra land. Elsewhere you can try it, not in Biafra land. Although the ICC have belatedly decided to investigate atrocities by the Nigerian Army Police and politicians, sadly their intervention has come very, very late. Very, very late indeed. A lot of people have died and a lot of families are angry and they are grieving and they want vengeance. And I do not blame them. And I can never blame them regardless of the enormity or gravity of action or actions they may take in order to avenge the death of their loved ones. Therefore, if you're a politician or a commander and you are involved in the killing of people, know that your life is no longer safe. I can assure you, cut what I'm saying and send it to ICC, send it to the U.S. government, send it to everybody. I want us to go to that court in ICC and we present the catalog of destruction and mayhem and of terrorism perpetrated by the Nigerian government itself. And we'll see who will be convicted. If you think that the likes of Wike can do your dirty job for you, then you are grossly mistaken. Because Wike understands the mess that he's in. He can never be a free man until the day he dies. I'm saying it in the public so the whole world can hear. Mwike doesn't deserve to live. He doesn't. And that goes for any other governor that will preside over the killing of innocent people. They have made the zoo ungovernable, not us. Our job is, is to defend our land and that is exactly what we are going to do. You know, they always, uh, they love doubting us all the time. They think we are joking. But from tomorrow, the music will change. I thank all of you very much for listening this very evening. Those who doubt what we are doing or the sincerity of our efforts must understand that we have come and there is no going back. And that Biafra is going to be restored in our time, not through the efforts of the Eastern Security Network, but as a result of overwhelming support for the independence of Biafra via a referendum. Anywhere you attack our mothers again in our land, we will attack you back. If you leave us alone, we will leave you alone. We are not going to go into any war. No, not at all. But we are going to defend our land. I thank all of you very much for listening this very evening, morning, afternoon, or night, depending on where you are. And for those who can appreciate the enormity and gravity of the mess we are in as a people, we welcome your understanding. If you know you cannot do anything, you stay out of the way. From me, from here, good evening. A woman again to that only know me, bo. No much in the All right, a dicker, if I go through Nilo and Pupua, Kefuni will be Kiku, Master Maka, there be phony and do who the Iloapua. Obuka, if I name and I do no manalo. Cabaro came me to work on that table, they comment. Comment ya something. Oh, the Kung could be fast enough before Ganadi and your man's in the canna apatana, or just sooner. There are so many things that are going on now. Mars in the canna will gain his freedoms. Sooner, as in when I mean sooner, what is the aka? Just my poor this day, today is 14th. Mazin and the can will be released as sooner, what is the aka? 
mark my word. In fact, who was the moons? Just mark my word. All right, uh, thank, thank you so much, and also stay tuned. Morning's update is coming on the way. That no more chineke, kemesiano, mibo.